Hi. My name is Eddie. And I'm Amari. And we are the two voices of the week. Certain natives. Our, Our culture, culture unfiltered. unfiltered. Discussing the way of this world. And we're back, bitch. Two voices. Sorry. Two voices. Sorry. Queer. Queer. Candid. Candid. Discussing, Discussing the way of this world and the next. Discussing the ways of this world and the next. Discussing the ways of this world and the next. Discussing the way of this world starts Discussing the ways of this world. Uh, what's going on, Eddie? So we were talking actually about uh, people not knowing people. Yeah, not knowing people. Well, not no no. People making people assumptions making about judgment people. about you because of your friends. What was the thing that you just saw earlier about like um, um seeing yourself from a place of compassion instead of judgment, something like that. E- don't make me lie. Let me. It was your view yourself through the lens of compassion instead of judgment. You got it. Yeah, yeah. And the other part is notice what shifts. It was impactful because I believe that's true. I think that's one thing uh, that I think the world is just missing. We're missing compassion. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's so easy for us to kind of just like write people off and Mm -hmm. be like, all right, lock this person up, put them away, you know, cancel this person, da da da, mm-hmm. and then just keep going on about our business because we are not viewing people through a lens of compassion. Yeah, and then we always like if, looking at them in judgment, like we right. are always judging, we are judgmental, and then I'm fun. like, I'm over here like, bitch, is you God? <laughs> like, <clears throat> I was like, what is that? <laughs> I don't see the light in you. So is you God? Because I don't don't think you are. I don't see the light in Mm -hmm. you. So. But it is like you got to view yourself from that place. And I think Mm -hmm. you will see like a shift, you know. Um, Especially even like when you look at other people, Mm -hmm. you know, you could be like, oh, this person has a nasty attitude. or This person does this, that, that, that. But when you really look at a person and kind of like observe them, um, you see other things. Speaking of, so I watched um, it. You know, I I watched it chapter one and chapter two. It was my first time watching them like completely, you know, all together. I watched the first one, but I kind of watched it in pieces. And mind you, this is the new um, the new version. one, yeah, the new mm-hmm. one from like two thousand something. It was the new the newest one, shit, mm-hmm. the one without Tim Curry. One thing that kind of got me at times was how how one dimensional um, the bully felt. I forgot his name. What's his name? Eddie? Me, no, me, no, me, no, me. Stop, you can get us to. Oh, that's, oh, really? Henry. <laughs> his name was Henry. Mm-hmm. His name was Henry. But I I think that's the thing, like, even, like, when you watch, like, movies with, like, bullies or you watch, like, the antagonist, even, like, you know. We well, got the antagonist, well. The antagonist always seems one-dimensional. Yeah. Because it's almost like you're only supposed to view them as bad and there's no reason why they are that way. They just are that way. Well, majority of the movies with bad people are, like, and that are like that are older. Yeah, too. that's what I'm saying about, or like, older the, stories the, too. the 80s mm-hmm. and the 90s, the 70s. They were like, always, they were always done. one-dimensional. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there were times where Henry felt one-dimensional. Mm-hmm. But I like that they did show his relationship with his dad. And, you know, have him mention, like, oh, shit, I lost my, like, I lost the knife. Like, my dad's going to kill me. So it yeah. does give that extra layer of, like, he isn't mm-hmm. just bad to be bad. He isn't just fucking with his kids just to fuck with him. Even not only that, but he I needs something. Yeah, not only that, but he have, he needs or feels like he needs to be in power. Yeah. It's just that kind of thing, like, where you see people and you don't see beyond the impression. You're not with them at all times. You are not like in a movie where you're watching a movie and you're able to see every single aspect of that character. You are not able to do that in real life. Mm -hmm. So you are not able to understand and you're not able to see more. I, you know, now with the, the elections and everything, I am very careful on how I talk out in public because I know that not a lot of people are the way that think the way that I think right. or see things the way that I can see them. Right. So I be careful, but then I realize and I notice I need to know more. Yeah. I need to know more of you yeah. to understand why you see or you view things the way that you do. Hello. Because I have to understand and take under consideration your background. Your story. Mm-hmm. I need to understand because if you are 30, 
That means that you had 30 years of life, 30 years of experience. That mm -hmm. means that you saw a lot. Yeah. You dealt with a lot. You might have met a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so how is these people influencing? Are these people that were that you met um, mm -hmm. made a very big impact? Or were these people that you met or throughout your life were kind of the same? So were you in the same city? Did you move around? Did mm -hmm. you travel a lot around? What did you do? The experience. You, you know, your experience. Because if I see that, then, then I might be able to have a little bit of compassion and understanding yeah. on why you view the things that you view the way that you view them. You know, even with a certain tangerine skinned man, mm -hmm. he was a child at one point, mm -hmm. you know, he was a child. He was under the mm -hmm. influence of people, you know, mm -hmm. people, he, he was built this way. He didn't just be this way. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, I'm never going to like, you know, I don't, I don't care for him. Yeah. Let that be known. True. But. I am not above um, giving compassion to him. And I think what's really weird sometimes mm -hmm. is when you have compassion for someone and other people don't have compassion for them, then it becomes a thing where they try to get on you or attack you like yeah. you're crazy or something. Mm -hmm. For instance. Or what's the that you are enabling. You're enabling. Mm -hmm. It's like you're okaying what, they're di what they did. It's mm -hmm. like, no, I'm not okaying that. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm, I'm a human. I'm aware that that person's a human. I'm aware that person has experiences mm -hmm. that have ref that are reflecting themselves in their actions. Yeah, yeah, because I can't give a blank. Yeah, I can't statement. just like cover them in yeah. whatever. I can't see it in black and white because yeah. it's not black and There's white. There's color though. Uh, hello. There's gray <laughs> in here. <laughs> so, um one one big example for me is I actually mentioned her earlier, Erica Badu. I love Erica Badu. I well, adore you her. It in the podcast. Well, it doesn't matter. They'll they'll hear it sometimes. <laughs> I've mentioned her before. Okay. Now, I like Erica Badu. And um, I don't think she's a perfect person, you know, none of that. But I, I enjoy her. You know, I enjoy mm -hmm. her work. But I remember people really got on her heavy when she showed compassion for R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Around the time that he was going through, you know, all that stuff was happening and he was, you know, the allegations were coming out and it really got like to the point where they were you know, getting rid of him. Um, and one thing that's really interesting to me is that we know that he was a ch um, a victim of sexual abuse mm -hmm. at the hands of uh, a neighbor, I believe, and possibly his sister. Mm -hmm. And there's no compassion there for that. And it's weird because it's like, I get that he's done what he's done, but it's like, you know, people love to say hurt people, hurt people. And they think that just applies to, oh, you got yeah. broken up with. Mm -hmm. Now you a hoe and you breaking hearts. Exactly. It's like, no, it goes deeper than that. And hurt people, hurt people. That mm -hmm. man, there is compassion to be had for him. Mm -hmm. Because there's always that point at like, we are no longer children than we're adults. And it seems like once you become an adult, people don't care about you. Because the problem is, once you are an adult, they see it as you had enough time to learn from your mistake. Yeah. You had enough time to actually understand what were you're doing and everything and you were able to be corrected. Mm -hmm. So now that you are adult, now is the con the, the mistakes that you do, the, con the 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 situations that you get to in have consequences. Yeah. And then you have to pay for those consequences. Yeah. So then people don't really have compassion because it's like, well, you need it you have needed to learn. Yeah. But the problem is did he did he or she has somebody in their life to really teach them or um educate them or actually be there for them? Right. And then was that person really absent? You know, it was that person absent, mm -hmm. the one that needed to care for. And I'm not saying that that is a um something that we need to um excuse yeah. because it's not for me to give an excuse mm -hmm. but it's more for me to understand the situation mm -hmm. that's why i also said, mentioned earlier enabling it's not about enabling the situation but it's about understanding the situation and how we can correct the situation yeah. i have to give a person the chance to correct themselves yeah. after I taught them to correct themselves. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if they are old enough or whatever. Yeah. Once they make the same mistake again after I taught them or educate them or gave them whatever, then that's when I need to 
put the line, yeah. have boundaries. Yeah. And that's what we need to understand. It's like we need to figure out what is our boundaries mm -hmm. and be able to educate people the way that they need to be educated. Yeah. Just because we need to have compassion. Yes. That's why we have this damn motherfucking cancel culture because we don't have compassion. We have judgmental mentality. One thing I see a lot is that people will compare themselves to a person. Like people mm -hmm. be like, so what? He got molested. I got molested. And now you don't see me going out doing all of this. And it's just like, you. that's not, there's no compassion mm -hmm. there. There's no sympathy. There's no empathy there. There's really like, there's kind of like this justified victimhood yeah. from you mm -hmm. of you saying, well, I'm not like that. So they shouldn't be like that. Yeah, they but then but you're not, not realizing that you. yeah. not the same person. Mm -hmm. And you're not realizing that you maybe had the help. You maybe had other situations in your life that actually made you not to be that type of yeah. a person. Like it really, it, mm -hmm. sometimes it doesn't even take a lot. Yeah. You would think it takes a lot to but like yeah. help someone carve a different path but it really it doesn't it's not always that 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 uh on the surface monumental mm -hmm. you know um it may not be something that needs to be like oh go over here it's like no it's mm -hmm. like it's that small bit of kindness that's not a small bit of compassion or that small bit of empathy or sympathy that mm -hmm. helps a person see that i don't have to be that way or i don't have to do things this way i don't have to handle things this way or i have a story that's bigger than just this moment in my life we have to understand those type of people that create this type of crimes or create this type of horrendous situations and everything and we in a sense we do have to judgment a little bit but we have to still have compassion then the other thing is <clears throat> and i want to bring it around too mm -hmm. Is to um friends. You know, earlier we said that don't judge me because of my friends, mm -hmm. because you do not know who my friends are. Mm -hmm. And in reality, you really do not know because you don't really see what they're doing. Um, the other part of it is that just because they are the how they are and how they see situation is that's just them. Like me, I'm very me, I'm a bitch, a bitch. I'm most of the time and everything. Yeah, I do have compassion and I do care and everything, but my I, I have a limit to situations. Like, no, bitch. But it's like I ain't about to just uphold you. Yeah, because I'm not doing that. Like other people might enable you with bullshit. Mm -hmm. I'm, nah, not me. Um, but Omari's friends don't really know me. They mm -hmm. don't really know the other things that they don't really see because yeah. they don't know me. Yeah. So when they talk to Omari or they say something about me, I don't be given two shits yeah. because it's like, okay, I'm not, not going to keep give the whatever to them because it's, they don't know me. They are mm -hmm. not my friends. It's like other, some of my friends are not Omari's friends. So they cannot judge Omari because they don't really know Omari. And at the end of the day, and you is really my friend and you not his friend. <laughs> me personally, I don't be um, explaining my friends on how they are because I don't need to. My friends are who they are and they can do the things that they need to do with their life. Mm -hmm. Because if that's how they they carry themselves in their life, then by all means, because I'm not going to judge you for that. There's a reason why I have your ass in my life <laughs> and that's all I need. Whatever other people have, then that's what they have. Because yeah. I... I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> there is a small piece of me in each and every one of my friends mm -hmm. and vice versa. You know, it, it may not be something people necessarily like. It mm -hmm. may not be something necessarily people <laughs> understand. True. But it's there. So, you know, just don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. Find a way to look at things in a compassionate, compassionate way than being judgmental. Yeah. Because when we become judgmental, then we create this type of things where we then become um a cancel culture yeah or, or we just truthfully, dismiss people for whatever truthfully thing. cancel mm -hmm. culture is heavily like the the basis of cancel culture is hypocrisy yeah because nobody is without flaws nobody is without mistakes mm -hmm. because it's really like not. someday you're going to make a mistake and you're going to want compassion <laughs> yeah you're going to want empathy you're going to mm -hmm. want sympathy yeah. and god willing you will get it but you know if you live a um a hypocritical life then 
Perhaps you'll get the lunch that you so desperately stood in line for. Mm. Look at things differently. Analyze them and take your Don't time. Don't be a motherfucking hypocrite, bitch. Yeah. We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah, because you ain't... But what? Who? Who? Who is you? God. Who is you, you? you is not God. <clears throat> Speaking what? of, that's my biggest thing, though, too. How can you be a Christian and then shit on people who have made mistakes when the whole Bible is filled with people who fucked up and then fucked up shit and then got delivered and then became, like, disciples of... Like, what the fuck? I don't understand. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. You know what it don't make sense? <laughs> but I'm um, Amari. And I'm Eddie. <laughs> we are. The two voices of the week. Start natives. Our culture, Our culture unfiltered. Culture. Discussing the way of this world. And the next. And do not forget to do your daily saintly duties by following, subscribing, sharing, liking, and commenting. And do not forget to always listen to us on Mondays on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, and maybe Google. <laughs> and maybe Google. I don't, Google I don't, what? I don't know. Don't, don't make life crazy. any more, more difficult than it needs to be. Life is hard exactly. enough. Exactly. Bye. So make smart choices, not difficult choices. Okay. Bye.